Hello there, my name is David Kidder. In this video, we're gonna take a look at just a real basic AC circuit that involves a resistor. Okay, so what we want to figure out is, what is the relationship between my voltage of the source and the current that goes through the resistor? What is the time relationship between these two things? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna graph them out and we'll see exactly what I mean. Okay, so we're looking for the phase relationship between voltage and current, and phase means the shift of left or right between two waves. And what we wanna do then is see exactly what's happening in a, in a purely resistive circuit. So I've got a resistor here and I've got an AC source. Okay, so let's have a look. So we can see both sine waves have started at the same point. Both sine waves are peaking at the same point, crossing the center line at 180 degrees, and then once again, they're peaking on the negative alternation, and then they meet up again at 360 degrees. So the value, the magnitude, the up and down, the amplitude of the waves doesn't really matter. It's just the value of voltage and current that we have in this given circuit. But what won't change is the shift left to right. So they will still always, no matter what, peak at the same time, start at the same time, end at the same time. So we have no phase shift at all in a purely resistive circuit. Okay, so just to state it, between voltage and current, there is no phase shift. So you could say that they are in phase with each other. So voltage and current are in phase with each other and that's exactly what we're seeing here. The two sine waves are running along with each other and there's no uh, left to right shift between their peaks or where they're starting or stopping. All right, so in a purely resistive circuit, voltage and current are in phase. Great thing to know, especially moving into RLC circuits. All right, so we'll see you in the next video.